Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, how many times have you sat in class waiting? You had something to do. Let's say you had to go with your friends, and you know you were the last one to get out of class. You kept on looking at the clock, and every little second felt like hours. That the presence sits still, and you're just wondering, like, you're, you're going, what's on? Like, time sits to, to still, and you're looking around, and you can see like a fly walking, like just passing by, and you're looking at your friends, like, what's going on? And like, it just seems normal. That's why I don't agree with the quote of Quisenberry, who says, the future is like the present, only longer. I believe that in a lot of situations, the present is way longer than the uh, future. And I'll show you this by showing you some events in the past that happened to me, the present and the future. In the past, how many, uh, like right now where is the holidays? I work for Dollar Tree, and the week before uh, Christmas, the week before Halloween, we started putting Christmas stuff out. Isn't that crazy? Like, <laughs> Thanksgiving hasn't even passed. Like, I don't think I... I've worked there, and I don't think I've seen that much Thanksgiving stuff, you know. And I think, you know, Thanksgiving is pretty important, you know. We all like to feast right before Black Friday and stuff. So now, the days, now we don't count the 25 days of Christmas. We count a, a month and a half of Christmas. <laughs> and uh, more specifically, how about when we were younger? When we were younger, the Christmas Eve. Who doesn't remember that? The longest 24 hours of your life. You know what your parents bought you, because maybe you were like me, you opened a little bit of the present and you knew you were getting a Nintendo. Or you were just shaking and you know, this looks like a basketball, because it probably is, because you can't grab a basketball any other way. So those were the longest 24 hours. Uh, now the present. Right now, sitting, sitting right in front of you guys, these aren't five minutes. These are like 20 hours. I feel like the guy that that goes before Justin Bieber saying, oh, Justin Bieber's in here. I'm frozen right here, like I'm just like scared. You don't know how it is. So like for right now in the present, these are the longest five minutes of my life in the present, I guess. In the future, how about the scary thought of getting a house or getting a car and getting a new car? Because used cars are pretty easy, but you're gonna have to go into the bank or someone else getting a loan. You, you know you deserve this, you know, this house, this car, but you have to wait a couple of days and you're wondering every single hour, every single minute, oh my God, is it because I didn't shave or they're not gonna give me that? I mean, I think that, that all the time as I go, when I go to the it's like, man, I should have shaved. And then my mom goes like, yeah, you should have saved me. Well, you don't look good. So, you know, all those factors point up to why I believe that the present in a lot of situations is longer than the future because I don't know what, the homeboy Quisenberry was thinking, but I guess he was thinking in the future because I'm thinking right now. Bro, I thought it was a speech, not a comment. I had to make it something. Hey, I had a comment instead of a That was horrible. I like the other ones. Like, the other ones look just. It's yeah, like yeah. laws are like sausages. You don't want to see that made. Oh, I did that one. You did that one. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked about horse meat. Maybe that adds. The horse meat. Yeah. 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 I was like, that was super bad. I was going to do the middle ones, like life is like a rat race. And like, uh, so like, you can be the rat in a rat race. But if you win, you're still losing. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 It's like you never want to eat meat, you never want to go to like a But then they're like, I had that. Hey guys. No, no, no. I was like, just like sausage Grind up horse all right, Eric, uh, I think there are several things that you did pretty well and a couple of things that you want to watch out for. Uh, I thought you had a very clear thesis statement. You got to it pretty effectively. Uh, there's a little bit of a preview. Uh, the speech is pretty well organized. You've got some uh, good illustrations on the points. Uh, they don't always develop as much as they could, but they, they work. I thought that you struggled a little bit on the third point. The first and the second points worked pretty well. The third one it's a little bit of a, an issue why it, why it fits into your theme. Uh, but you found something to talk about and you tried to make it interesting, which I think you did. Also, I think that uh, there are several things that you do to kind of pull us in. Your face is very expressive when you're talking to us. You're very animated there. I think you've got good gestures while you're speaking. But 
your anxiety is coming out in two very obvious places. The first is your voice. It's like you get started like, you know, you are breathing, your cadence and breathing is a little bit awkward and you're just rushing through it. It's like, let me hurry up and dive through this as, as quickly as possible. And so you need to pace yourself a little bit, calm down and just move a little bit more smoothly through the presentation because you've got good ideas. And then the other thing that goes along with that is your body movement, your feet, just you're dancing the whole time. It's nice that it's a uh, Queensberry, you know, Queensberry, you've heard of the Marquis de Queensberry rules for boxing. You know, the Queensberry rules, you know, we got to follow certain kinds of rules. You don't, do like you don't punch movie. somebody in the nuts or you don't you know, rabbit punch them, <laughs> no, that no, sort of no, thing. No. Yeah, that's who it is that you're talking about. You look like you're on your toes dancing and boxing, getting ready to go the whole time. You want to you want to have a little bit more control over that because that, that's where all your nervous energy is coming out there and in your voice. All right. Thank you. I'm